do celebrities love Asian medicine so much? I'm sure we've all seen Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina candle, or remember when Madonna had a vaguely Eastern spiritual awakening in the 90s, or know how LA is filled with yoga studios and acupuncturists. But have you ever wondered why this is? Why do celebrities and rich people have this disproportionate interest in so-called alternative medicine? Well, surprise! It might have something to do with colonialism. <laughs> At first that seems like a stretch, but let me explain. The first thing I want to do in this video is to find what I consider to be Asian medicine in this context. I will be discussing practices of both traditional Chinese medicine and Ayurveda as facets of the celebrity fascination. Both of these completely different systems of medicine are lumped together as one thing in the United States, which is problematic on its own, but in this specific video, I will be referring to this lumped together version as Asian medicine. That's actually one of the reasons that celebrities practice Asian medicine in the first place. It was brought over to UCLA in the 60s, appropriated by white people, and transformed into something that didn't really resemble its origins. It makes sense that celebrities, who mainly live in Los Angeles, would partake in this Americanized version of Asian medicine. I'm sure we've all seen dozens of articles on how one celebrity swears by acupuncture, another has a shocking weight loss secret, which is just using a gua sha on your face, and of course, the spiritual awakenings. These activities are usually regarded as hippy-dippy stuff to the general public, but why exactly is Asian medicine regarded as hippie culture in the first place? The thing about counterculture is that it's meant to counter the current culture. This is unfortunately why aspects of Asian culture were incorporated into the hippie movement. Asian culture is considered the opposite of American culture and as uh, inferior and opposite by the American public and the American government. The thing is, culture is culture. One culture shouldn't be inferior or superior to any other culture. One culture shouldn't be viewed as the rebellious opposite to another culture. Asian medicine and culture is practiced by regular human beings, just like American medicine and culture. But why do we see Asian medicine as this monolithic other? Here's where the colonialism ties in, I promise. Celebrities and rich people hold the most power in society. That's just a fact. In order to benefit from Orientalism, which is the representation of Asian cultures under a colonialist viewpoint, you need to have a certain amount of privilege. Things or experiences considered exotic or otherworldly are usually more expensive. And it's always been like this. Oriental rugs, fine china, that thing where mansions used to have Egyptian wallpaper. Kinda cool, not gonna lie. It's nothing new. Orientalism has just taken a new shape in the United States, and it's referred to as alternative medicine. Here's a quote from an academic essay that I really think sums it up. A specific characteristic of Orientalism compared to other racist discourses is in the nature of its self-constituting relationship with the other. Racist discourse has been linked to the imperial project of the West, said discusses Orientalism as processes of racial othering in which the Oriental other has been constructed in direct antithesis to the self or Western subject. The desire of the West to represent the Oriental other is also intertwined with its desire to exert power over it. White celebrities being the face of Asian medicine in the United States further proves this. So, does this mean Gwyneth Paltrow is a demonic colonizer? Maybe. Does this mean that she should never practice yoga again or stop selling herbs to rich moms? No! 
We just need to examine the systems that got us here in the first place. Don't just partake in Eastern medicine without acknowledging its origins and history first. While celebrities getting cupped or talking about their third eye might not seem like a big deal, they are symptoms of the larger issue of Orientalism, which is a component of colonialism. So the next time you think about trying a Chinese celebrity secret weight loss tea, or buying a jade roller because a beauty YouTuber discovered them and swears that they work so well, just stop for a moment and think about where those things may have originated. Thank you.